This lesson is about the invoice templates and the emails that you can use with it. Where can you find them? Again, we go to admin, finance, accounting, and invoicing. And under the section invoices, we did already the invoice template, but here's the invoice email message. And that's the message that goes out to your particular contact that receives the invoice. It can be a different contact as your main uh, contact. And these get the invoices as, a, as an attachment. I usually would say the audit as default and make a copy. Unfortunately, that option is not available. For this particular section, what I will do, quickly copy what they have in the, in the default. It's canceled, so I didn't change anything. And I will create a new one from scratch. First of all, like I say, either way an underscore or a regular uh, dash. And then you create your, uh, your template. Email message. This is going to be a default. In this case, sent from different administrator. I would not maybe not say administrator over there. The sent from email maybe would be something like uh, accounting or finance. Maybe you have a different email address or a different group. Uh, the more you split it out into different groups, the more professional it will it will be. And maybe you can even do over here that you say, uh, example, you do it at uh, accounting different uh, it's finance so that would be a good one of course choose with this one it needs to be a valid email because if people reply to of course then uh, they need to be having a valid email address where they reply to quickly going to paste already in there okay yeah that's of course i made a different copy so now it's gone but i can change it uh, quickly still on the fly the email subject i would say uh invoice and then here's a little button we can then add the variables. We want to use the invoice variables. I would always like to have there the invoice number. And maybe can, we can even put the invoice number for which company it is. Some people like that. Let's see, it's not on the invoice variable, but then you go to the company variable and you say it's the company name. In the body, this is going to be your actual email. I would always suggest put it to HTML. Uh, we can do a quick copy to, uh, to make it into a different one. There's always an option to go with it to format HTML. You can say something like dear. Um, Sir, please find a text or newest invoice. And we, let's say maybe we open up some brackets. This is where we put the invoice number. Again, we put over here invoice variables, invoice number. As you can see, it has a different formatting, so we need to make sure that we put it a little bit in line in a bit. Um, if Team put maybe a little bit nice. To, we should be able to put a logo in there that goes to put under all variables. Uh, there should be a logo here in this invoice. Logo requires HTML, so we're going to put the logo in there. So we have a couple of uh, formats. Obviously, it doesn't look that nice. It's, you can put it all into the same. Um, same font. Let's use Times New Roman. Put it all at the same. Type and look at that. This already looks much better. Now again, if you use a different uh, different font setting, you have you have the availability to choose at least from a couple of them. And choose the size of it. You can make it bold and italic. Uh, change some colors as long as it's of course it's HTML uh, format, then it all will work. And these variables are in there. And you can even send a test email uh, for now as a test, and that will come in, and then you can see how it comes out. And of course. Uh, this is my default email address. You have to put in your own email address. Um, quickly making sure you can also add a description. Sometimes it's easier if you make that one uh, in there. Press save and close. That's always the main important thing at the end. Now in this case, now you have the, the option to uh, set it as default now that we created it. So we make that one as a default. And there's a warning message that all companies that are configured to use a default invoice email message will now use this email, email invoice. Do you want to continue? And you say yes. Now you saw so quickly that the companies were switched to the new one that we made. And that's now your default. You want to edit it, of course, quickly. You go back, edit, 
And this is easily where you can change items uh, what you want. For example, another option could be that you want to blind carbon copy your account manager. So that person always gets a copy of the invoices and can kind of be a little bit ahead of the game that when invoices go out and there might be something going on, then he can see it. In here, of course, you can put way more verbiage. Uh, you can make it as nice how you want it. People have a whole story. I would again suggest keep it short. It's an invoice. Uh, I think everybody knows what to do with an invoice. Uh, you can say, hey, uh, let's pay uh, let's pay on time. But again, that's also really on your invoice. So it's a little bit duplicate information. Uh, but when you're here, make sure to, to go a little bit to this little uh, I want to say door with an arrow in there. This is the message where you can put a whole bunch of more variables in there. So you can make it as nice as you want. Um, any more questions, of course, then you can always reach us at our Facebook group.